Hi everyone, my name's Matt, and if you're watching this video, there's a good chance you use a solution like Ring, Blink, or Nest to surveil your home, and while this is certainly a convenient option, running a DIY system locally can actually be cheaper in the long run and still user-friendly. With that being said, there are definitely pros and cons to each method. So in today's video, I'm gonna break down the real difference between cloud-based surveillance services and local NVR slash DIY setups, including how much they cost, which is more reliable, and who should be going with what solution. Also, I'll be showing how a local setup like this might work using Skyhawk surveillance drives from the sponsor of today's video, Seagate, which are purpose-built for 24-7 recording. Skyhawk AI surveillance drives offer support for multiple HD video streams, have firmware tuned specifically for AI surveillance workflows, and have unparalleled reliability. I'll be talking about them more later in the video, but for now, let's start by taking a look at how the cloud approach works and why so many people rely on it in the first place. The cloud approach is probably what the average person thinks of when they imagine home security. Services like Ring, Nest, and Arlo are everywhere and for good reason. They're easy to use, the apps are polished, and the setup is about as simple as scanning a QR code and connecting to Wi-Fi. Once everything's online, you can check your cameras from anywhere, get motion alerts, and even store clips automatically in the cloud. For a lot of people, that convenience is hard to beat. There's no server to manage, no hard drives to think about, and everything just quote unquote works out of the box. But where things start to get tricky is the cost. Most of these systems require a monthly subscription if you actually want to review or save the footage. Typically, that's anywhere from $3 for a single camera setup per month, all the way up to around $25 a month for a premium multi-cam plan. These fees can easily add up to $100 or more per year, and if you stop paying, you lose access to all your recorded clips, making your cameras basically become live view only. There's also the reliability factor. If your internet connection drops, so does your ability to record or access footage. Some cameras will store short clips locally, but most rely entirely on that constant connection to the cloud, so even a short outage can mean gaps in your recordings. And finally, we have the privacy and security side. All your video is stored on someone else's server, which means you're trusting that company to protect it, manage it responsibly, and not use it for anything beyond what you agreed to. Most major companies have solid security practices, but no system is perfect. There have been breaches, policy changes, and situations where users didn't have as much control as they expected. So while cloud cameras are convenient and simple, you're trading away some control, long-term cost savings, and reliability in the process. With that being said, there's another approach that solves many of these problems, a local NVR system that records everything right in your own home. If you're not familiar, an NVR or network video recorder is basically a small computer or box that records footage from your security cameras directly onto a hard drive instead of sending it to the cloud. It connects to your camera over the network, usually with PoE, which is power over ethernet, so both power and data are delivered through the same cable. You don't necessarily need PoE to use an NVR as there are wireless camera options, but it's a common setup since it keeps wiring simple and reliable, once everything's connected, your cameras record continuously or based on motion, and all your footage is stored locally on drives inside of the MBR. That means even if your internet goes down, your system keeps recording without interruptions. You can still view the live feed or playback footage within your home network, and with the right configuration, you can even securely access it remotely. One of the biggest advantage of a local setup is long-term costs. Sure, you pay more upfront for the NVR drives and cameras, but after that, you're done. There are no monthly fees to store or review your own footage, and that's a big deal, especially if you're running multiple cameras. Over a number of years, that can end up saving hundreds of dollars compared to paying cloud subscription costs. Then there's reliability and privacy. Local systems don't rely on a company's servers, so you're not depending on an internet connection or someone else's data policies. Your recordings never leave your home unless you specifically choose to make them accessible. Now, of course, it's not perfect. Local systems can take a bit more effort to set up, and depending on your cameras and network, there may be some trial and error involved. You'll also need to think about backup power or redundancy if you want to keep recording during a power outage. But once it's set up, you get a system that in the long run is cheaper to run, 
more private and more reliable. And this is where Seagate Skyhawk surveillance drives come in because the drives you choose are just as important as the cameras you connect to them. This video is sponsored by Seagate and they sent out their 24 terabyte Skyhawk AI surveillance drive for me to test out and play around with. And this thing is basically purpose built for exactly what we've been talking about. Unlike normal desktop hard drives, Skyhawk drives are designed specifically for 24 seven video recording and surveillance workloads. They're optimized to handle the constant writing and playback that comes from running multiple security cameras day and night without skipping a beat. And to be clear, Seagate isn't just slapping on AI in the title because it's a popular buzzword right now. These Skyhawk AI drives have firmware specific to the use case of feeding AI algorithms that are continuously reading and analyzing video as it's recorded. This particular 24 terabyte Skyhawk AI model is built for NVRs and AI enabled surveillance systems, meaning it can handle up to 64 HD camera streams and 32 AI streams simultaneously. That's ideal if you're running a multi-camera setup or using modern AI features like motion detection, facial recognition, or object tagging. Inside, it's powered by ImagePerfect AI firmware, which helps deliver zero drop frames even when it's under heavy load. So your recordings stay smooth and reliable, and you don't end up with corrupted clips or missing seconds when it matters most. Also, it's rated for a 550 terabyte per year workload, which is more than three times the durability of a standard surveillance drive. And it has a mean time between failures of 2.5 million hours in short, it's built to run nonstop every day for years. And Seagate backs that up with a five-year limited warranty, which is rare for drives in this category. So it's not just high capacity, it's long-term reliability that you can count on. Another key feature is Skyhawk Health Management, which actively monitors drive conditions and helps protect your data before problems occur. It focuses on prevention, intervention, and recovery, so if the drive detects anything unusual, you get a heads up early on, giving you a chance to back up or replace any hardware before data loss ever occurs. The drive also includes rotational vibration sensors, which help maintain consistent performance in systems with multiple drives installed. That means less lag, fewer errors, and smoother performance, even in multi-base setups. And since it's based on helium sealed CMR technology, it runs cooler, quieter, and more efficiently, using only about seven or eight watts on average while still pushing standard transfer speeds around 285 megabytes per second. And to verify this myself, I did plug the drive into a PC and ran it through Crystal Disk Mark and was happy to see it was hitting right at its rated speeds. To put it simply, this drive is engineered for continuous intelligent video recording not just casual storage. It's the difference between a drive that just stores files and one that's purpose-built for critical footage where reliability actually matters. So using a Skyhawk AI drive as the backbone of your NVR is a great move in my opinion. It's quiet, fast, and rock solid in testing. And for anyone building or upgrading a home or small business surveillance system, it's one of the most dependable options that you can get right now. With that being said, let's talk about how this all ties into reliability, specifically what happens when the internet or power goes out. One of the biggest differences between cloud and local setups comes down to reliability, specifically what happens when something goes wrong. With a cloud system, everything depends on your internet connection. If your connection drops or your service provider has an outage, your cameras might still power on, but they can't upload footage or send alerts. Some cameras will store short clips locally, but most rely on that cloud link to function properly. So during an outage, you could miss hours of recording without even realizing it. A local NVR system, on the other hand, doesn't care if your internet goes out. As long as the NVR and cameras have power, they'll keep recording nonstop and you can still access live feeds or recorded footage on your local network. And once the internet comes back, remote access picks right up where it left off. This is also where reliability upgrades like PoE and a UPS come in handy, as even in the event where you lose both power and internet, the whole system can continue to record. Meaning your house might go dark, but your footage will still keep rolling. That's what makes a local setup so appealing. It's not just about saving money or keeping your data private. It's about having a system that doesn't fail when you need it the most. With that being said, let's talk about another major factor, cost, because each option does have different initial and long-term costs. At first glance, cloud systems seem cheaper. You buy the cameras, download the app, and you're good to go. But that's only half the story. Once you start adding in the monthly subscription fees, things can add up fast. Most popular cloud systems charge anywhere from $3 for a single camera per month, 
up to around $25 per month for a premium multicam plan. So let's say you're paying $10 every month or $120 a year. Over the course of five years, assuming no price increases, you'll spend around $600 on subscription fees. And remember, if you stop paying, you lose access to all that stored footage. A local MVR setup, on the other hand, has a higher upfront cost. You're buying not just the cameras, but an NVR and storage drives like Seagate Skyhawks. But after that, there are no ongoing fees. And for $600, you can get an off the shelf NVR for a few hundred bucks and a high capacity Skyhawk drive or even two for redundancy. Also, if you're more technically inclined, you can build a NAS or repurpose an old PC for one that will run NVR software. And since these Skyhawk drives can store weeks or even months of footage, depending on your resolution and frame rate, you're not constantly paying for extra cloud storage if you want to keep all that footage. Over time, the initial investment pays for itself and everything after that is essentially free. If you were to graph it out, the cloud setup would have a smaller initial spike than a steady line climbing higher and higher each month. Well, the local setup would have one higher spike right at the beginning and then flatten out. So while cloud systems might be cheaper up front, local storage wins in the long run, both financially and in terms of control. With that being said, in the local option, you are responsible for maintaining and backing up the server or NVR yourself. And if the NVR slash server breaks or a drive fails out of warranty, then it's another cost that you'll incur. Now let's talk about security and privacy because this is one of the biggest reasons people consider going local. With a cloud-based system, your footage is stored on someone else's server. That means you're relying on the company to keep it safe, handle it responsibly, and not use it for anything beyond what you agreed to. Most of the big names have solid security, but at the end of the day, you don't have full control. Your data lives on someone else's server, connected to the internet, and that always comes with some level of risk whether that's data breaches, account hacks, or unexpected policy changes. With a local setup, everything stays in your hands, your recordings live on your own drives, inside your own home. There's no third-party access unless you specifically enable it. You control how long footage is stored, who can view it, and how it's accessed remotely. And if you still want that convenience of checking your cameras from anywhere, you can set up secure remote access through the MVR's app or even a VPN. That way, you get the best of both worlds remote access without giving up privacy. So what would a local setup look like and what kind of hardware would you need? Well, both options, you'll need cameras along with a router. For a local setup, you need a few other things. The first is a server or NVR. You can get a dedicated NVR starting at around hundred bucks or you can use something like an off the shelf or DIY NAS running NVR software. Your NVR will need a hard drive or two for redundancy. And again, I can highly recommend Skyhawk AI surveillance drives from the sponsor of today's video Seagate for their high reliability and performance. To keep things simple, you also ideally want a way to power the cameras over ethernet, which again is referred to as PoE. With a NAS, you'll need a PoE switch, which usually will run you around 50 bucks, but many dedicated NVRs have PoE ports built in, so you won't necessarily need a PoE switch. So you'll make sure your NVR or NAS is hooked up to your router and have your PoE switch with your cameras connected to your router as well. Then using your NVR software, you can access and configure your cameras. With a dedicated NVR, this can be a very quick and easy process, but will take more time on a DIY NAS. This setup will require you to run ethernet to any location you want a camera, but this isn't too hard. And again, there are wireless options available for local setups, which aren't necessarily recommended, but it is good to point out that they do exist. So while a local setup is a little more complicated, if you're using a dedicated NVR, it's really only one more device that you need to add and they can be incredibly easy to set up. So to wrap things up, both cloud and local surveillance setups definitely have their place. It really just depends on what matters most to you. If you value simplicity above everything else, cloud cameras are hard to beat. They're plug and play, the apps work well, and you don't have to think about networking or hardware at all. The downside is that you're always paying those monthly fees, you're depending on the internet connection, and your footage lives on someone else's servers. A local NVR system, on the other hand, takes a little more effort up front, but once it's running, it's rock solid. You don't lose recording capability during outages, you're not tied to subscriptions, and all your footage always is completely under your control. Pair that with a reliable surveillance grade drive like Seagate Skyhawk AI drives, and you've got a setup designed for 24-7 operation, optimized for multiple camera streams, and built to last for years. 
Over time, the savings add up and you end up with a system that's cheaper, more reliable, and a lot more private. If you're interested in learning more about Seagate's Skyhawk surveillance drives, I'll have them linked in the description below. They're purpose-built for continuous recording and designed to keep your footage safe, even when everything else goes down. Also, it's good to mention you can get Skyhawk drives in a ton of sizes, all the way from as little as 2TB up to 32TB, so they have options for basically everyone's budgets and needs. Again, they'll be linked below in the description if you're interested. Thanks again to Seagate for sponsoring this video, and thank you all for watching. Like this video if you liked it, consider subscribing, and as always, this is Matt from Tech by Matt, signing out.